Dixon Technology because the company's arm, Paget Electronics, has entered into a contract manufacturing agreement with Compal Smart Device India. This is to manufacture mobile phones. Also, Dixon Tech has launched a new unit in Dehradun for manufacturing of washing machines. So there's lots going on with Dixon Tech. Uh, to talk more about this, we have the management. Uh, Atul Lal, the MD of Dixon Tech, is joining in. Mr. Lal, good morning. And it's always great seeing you on the channel and interacting with you. Uh, you know, this uh, agreement that you've signed with Compal, right? It's one of the world's leading manufacturers of notebooks, PCs, smart devices, etc. Just tell me, what is the synergies that you're seeing with this? And what kind of monetary or revenue contribution do you see from this, these synergies? Uh, so this is an extremely important agreement uh, that we have got into with Compal. Uh, Compal is a CMN partner for a very large global brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be manufacturing for this large global brand. Uh, these are high-end uh, devices. The lines are being set up. We expect to start in Q2 sometime in August, September in the forthcoming fiscal. Initially, uh, it's going to be for the domestic market. Uh, finally, we are expecting that we're going to be servicing the global requirements of this global brand uh, from our footprint. Hmm. Um, sorry, I'm not able to share the numbers because there are confidentially clauses in the agreement. Uh, you sure. have to bear with us for some time when we disclose the final details. But it's an extremely it. important for us. Uh, so I understand that. So you're saying that you will start manufacturing in Q2 of FY25 and initially it will be for the Indian market and then you'll go global, right? That's right. Okay. Can you give us some sense of what is the op opportunity? I don't want to, you know, you to get into numbers for your own company, but just to understand what is the kind of growth that you're looking at in this space because this is a big investment that you're making. So we feel that this particular uh, customer of ours is going to generate almost 8 to 10% of our revenues in a year or so. So it's a large contribution. Mm -hmm. And in the overall uh, scheme of things, mobile undoubtedly is our largest trigger of growth, uh, followed by IT product. Uh, so the growth in mobile as a segment is going to be extremely, extremely good. It's going to be almost 50 to 70% year on year. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the kind of order book we have. That's the kind of customer acquisition we pursue. Mr. Lal, uh, hi, good morning. Uh, this is a Taiwanese company, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, and you're saying 8 to 10% of your <clears throat> overall revenues, not mobile revenues, overall revenues uh, from this of in a year or so. That's right. That's right. Okay. So you expect some a very fast uh, ramp up in that sense. Uh, there was... Uh, there was also another sort of uh, report, news report, which said that uh, you are also sort of in talks with sort of Chinese um, uh, mobile company BBK Group. And a partnership is sort of uh, going to be announced soon uh, for, the, for the production of uh, Oppo, Vivo, Realme smartphones. Uh, is that, uh, could you comment on that? Is that happening? No, we are in tie up with a large Chinese ODM. Okay. Uh, again, uh, I humbly request you that I can't share the contours of that. Hmm. So, uh, once we start off, we're going to share the details. It's still in works. So, uh, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we are, the, the tie-up is in works with the Chinese ODM, with a very large Chinese ODM, yeah. Okay, so you're saying the tie-up is already in place? And, uh, or you you, you're sort of in the process of doing it? It's in the process. It's in the process. All right. So I won't push you to kind of name it, uh, but uh, you know, uh, it's in the public domain in the sense that I mean, there was a report citing sources that this is what is uh, uh, what you're who you're talking to, which is B BBK Group. Uh, it's China's largest mobile company. If it were to work out, etc., with this tie-up with the company that you're talking to, could it be as significant as uh, the one uh, that uh, we we discussed, which is Compal from Taiwan, or even bigger? It's going to be even bigger is going to be even bigger. That's right. And and could you give us some sense? You said Compel 8-10% of revenues in a year. I mean, if this were to materialize, what are we talking about? So this can be almost 12-15%. Uh, 12-15% to, 15 to 15% of overall company revenues when this tie-up materializes. And That's by right. when will we hear firm details on this? The name and, you know, the yeah. contours of the tie-up, etc.? 
I just wait for some time. These things take some time. Uh, they are complex uh, relationships. The lines okay. are complex. So just for some time. Got it. All right. Hi, Mr. Salal. Good morning and good to see you in. This is Nigel on this side. The Derudun facility as well is, I think, for washing machines. And as per your BSC release, the annual capacity is around 24 lakh washing machines uh, on a per annum basis. Could you tell us, post the commissioning of this, what does it take your total capacity to first in washing machines? I think for this year, you were guiding for around 1.8 to 1.9 uh, million units. So this facility is 2.4 million a year. Yes. Our facility, Rupati, is another 0.6 million. So the total capacity within Dixon for washing machine is going to be 3 million. It's already mm -hmm. 3 million. And uh, you're absolutely right that we're going to close at around 1.8 to 1.9 million machines in the current fiscal. Uh, this is a significant growth. We closed at 1.2 last year. And uh, we have an extremely healthy order book. So we expect another 20-25% growth in the forthcoming fiscal. Got it. All right. So you'll be in that uh, vicinity of around 2.3 million units odd for the next year as well on washing machines. That's right. All right. You know, a couple of more queries. Since mobile is going to be the big driving factor, how is the volume shaping up? Nokia, I think, uh, you know, you were guiding for around 1.5 million units per month. Uh, I all already at that. And also Xiaomi, I think uh, commercial production had started and then we were looking to head towards half a million units on a monthly basis. Has that been achieved? So Nokia numbers that you are referring to are absolutely right. Uh, the commercial mm -hmm. production of Xiaomi has started. Uh, month on month, the volumes are increasing. The new models are being launched. NPAs are happening. The number that you are just sharing, I think we should be able to achieve in the later part of Q1 of the coming fiscal. Mm. Okay. Uh, can you also tell us, since you know you spoke about also the mobile manufacturing, um, the recent tie-up that you've had, you'll first begin in the domestic market and then you'll go to exports, right? So just trying to understand, last year your export contribution was about 8 to 9 percent of total revenues. Over the next two to three years, how much can you grow that to? And what would this mean for your blended margins or the operational performance? Would it get better? You see, the growth in mobile is uh, very, very significant. And to start with, it's largely for the domestic market. Export orders are also looking uh, pretty healthy. Uh, however, I maintain uh, that although there is going to be a significant absolute number of growth in exports, uh, the growth, uh, the export revenues are going to be in a similar range of around 8 to 10 percent. And the margin profile of both exports and domestic as of now is similar, which is around 3, 3.2 percent. Okay. Apart from mobile and washing machines that we spoke about, are there any new product categories that you're looking to get into? Because you have a 250 crore investment that you're planning in terms of CAPEX over the next five to six years. Will it largely be in the current uh, traditional spaces that you're in or are you looking to expand into new, new categories as well? So we have already started commercial production of a new product category, that's refrigerators. Uh, we have set up a new plant of 1.2 million uh, units, which is almost 12% uh, of the Indian requirement for direct food refrigerator with an investment of around 450 crores. The commercial production has already started and we have a decent order book there. Uh, the next focus is uh, on a large opportunity of IT product, wherein we have back a couple of large contracts from global brands. For one of the brands, the production for the notebooks is going to start in uh, April to June quarter. For the other large global brand, the production is expected to start in July to September quarter. So as of now, IT products and refrigerator is the new domain which we are pursuing. Uh, but uh, in Dixon's case, uh, we keep on adding new product categories. And uh, now also is the time that uh, our growth has largely been on the horizontal side that we will be looking at and we are seriously exploring the possibility of getting into displays, that is the vertical integration kind of thing. Uh, display assembly, display modules, for mobile phones and notebooks. That's one project that we are pursuing. The teams are working on it. Uh, the project plans are being made. We are in discussion with some partners. So let's see. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and uh, thank you for that, uh, Mr. Lal. It's always great to speak with you. We cover a lot of ground every time. And uh, we hope you'll sort of tell us, you know, first, whenever the, the deal with the Chinese uh, company materializes, because as you say, uh, that's going to be a really big one. Uh, as as uh, we understand it. Thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC. Sure.